Are you totally confused about where to start in your cybersecurity journey, even though you've watched video after video after video? Well, have no worries. In this video, I'm gonna go over a simple seven step plan that can get you a job in cybersecurity. If you don't know who I am, I'm Nicole, and this channel is all about helping you upskill and land a job in tech. There are many different factors when trying to land a job in cybersecurity and tech. And that includes your experience level, your education level, your actual skills, how you present yourself to employers, and all of that fun stuff. So it's not just one variable, it's many. The correct mindset is also really important because you really have to believe that you can and you will. Otherwise, you will let doubts get to you and then you'll quit and then you'll just kind of stop forever. Let's get into the step-by-step -step how to land a job in cybersecurity with no experience. The first step to land a job in cybersecurity or really any IT job is to learn the basics of IT. And when I say the basics of IT, I mean what exactly is an operating system, what is Linux, what is Windows, how do they operate and what are the differences between each one of those? What is a network? Do you know the OSI model and what a router and a switch is? Do you know computer hardware? Do you know what network traffic is? And all of that fun stuff. Because if you don't have a good basis of what the basics of IT are, you're not gonna be able to comprehend the more advanced cybersecurity basics. I suggest starting here after you've mastered the basics, it shouldn't take more than 30 days, then go on to the cybersecurity basics. And some really good training programs is the Google IT support certificate. I do have a review and I do have a link below. I honestly really like the certificate. I've gone through the certificate. It teaches the basics in an easily digestible way. Another really good place is study.com. Here, a lot of their online courses actually count for college credit. It could save you a lot of money. Another one is Udemy. I know the CompTIA A Plus by Mike Myers is a really good course. There's also the free option, Professor Messer on YouTube. He has really good material and he's the OG of the CompTIA A Plus. So some entry level certificates that you could start out with depending on where you want to end up. When I say that, what I mean is you should get a certificate in what you want to pursue in security. For instance, cloud is really hot. If you are wanting to go into cloud, then I suggest getting a foundational certificate in AWS, Azure, or GCP, as these are also really sought after by HR and hiring managers, because not a lot of experienced people have experience in the cloud, meaning you can actually beat out people with experience because it's a new skill set that not many people have. It also pays more salary because there's lower demand. If you want to go into network security, I suggest getting the CCNA because that really prepares you for a good networking basics. And you can start out with an entry level IT job such as a network admin if you get that certificate and then you can pivot to cybersecurity later on. Another really good certificate is the CompTIA A+. This will land you a help desk job if that's what you're interested in. Uh, it's a great first starting point and the easiest way to get started in the tech field. And you may be like, well, why do I need to get an entry level IT job? I want a cybersecurity job. Well, because it teaches you the basics and you may just end up with a lesser known role such as help desk, network admin, system administrator, all of these types of roles still need people and are a great way to get your door in the foot for a tech job. Smash that like button below. <laughs> After you have learned the basics of IT, in order to pivot your career into cybersecurity, you're going to want to then learn the cybersecurity basics. And that's because the foundation of any skill that you're going to learn after this is going to be built on the IT foundations and the cybersecurity foundations and will make your life much easier, not only at your first job, but your second and third job. You're gonna to wanna to know the basics of IA. You're gonna to wanna to know the basics of security. You're gonna to wanna to understand GRC compliance. You're gonna to wanna to understand malware, vulnerability management, operating systems, incident management, and get a really good broad view of the entire field. You're really gonna to wanna to know confidentiality, integrity, and availability, because these are incredibly important topics to know in 
cybersecurity because that is basically what fuels the entire thing. You're going to want to understand what a security control is. The NIST 800-53 is a great way to figure out all of the security controls. You're going to want to know the basics of network security, the basics of IAM or identification access management. You're going to want to know security operations, including data security, best practices, what the difference is between a policy, a guideline and a procedure. Really important. You're going to want to understand what system hardening is to include patching, updates and baselines. After you have learned the basics of IT and cybersecurity, what you're going to want to do is maybe get a certification. Now, I know ISC Squared just came out with an entry level cybersecurity certification. That's really good to get. Another really good one to learn the basics and what I recommend everyone is the CompTIA Security Plus. There are a lot of free trainings around and I do have a video on how to study and pass the Security Plus within 30 days uh, right here based on evidence-based learning techniques. It's important how you study. Uh, so check that out. After you've learned the basics of IT, in order to land a job with no experience in cybersecurity, you're really going to want to pick a niche. Having just IT basic skills and basic security plus isn't enough to land you a job. You want to niche down. Cybersecurity, remember, is the protection of data, networks, systems, software, and all of that sort. So there are a lot of jobs that fall underneath cybersecurity. So you're going to want to take many different courses on different aspects of cybersecurity, and there are different ways to do that. Some really good entry-level cybersecurity jobs are digital forensics, a junior penetration tester, identity access management, data loss prevention, vulnerability management, or you could even start out just patching computers as that is system hardening. Another really good one is GRC and compliance. I do have a playlist of all of these types of videos that you can check out here. So just check that out. You can explore different career fields. Some really good training platforms to check out various niches would be INE training, Cybrary, Coursera is my favorite. Brilliant if you're wanting to go to the security software training. I do have links below to different cyber resources. Once you have chosen your niche, what you're gonna to wanna to do to land a job in cybersecurity with no experience is you're gonna to want to gain and prove specific job skills. You're never gonna get a job if you don't have the skills and can't prove the skills to an employer. Also, when you gain these and prove them, you also solidify the knowledge that you have. There are many different ways of gaining experience in the cybersecurity field. I do have a video that goes into it in different ways. The best way is to build your home lab and create big, beautiful documentation about it and then put this on your resume, your LinkedIn, your bring it up in different interviews when you're interviewing for cybersecurity and IT jobs and really push the fact that you built labs and skills and that you are skilled. But remember, only build labs that are relevant to your niche that you chose in the previous step. So make sure you are right. Certificates at this stage can definitely help you. For instance, there's a AWS cloud security certificate that I see a lot would definitely help prove your skills in that if you were wanting to get a cloud security job, you could also get the OSCP. This is great if you want to become a penetration tester. You can get the CRISC, which is wonderful if you are going to go to the GRC and want to become an IT auditor. The certificate, the cybersecurity certificate that you choose really depends on the cybersecurity niche that you chose. So make sure to choose carefully after you have built this big, beautiful portfolio of work and documented it and added notes and it's perfect. Then you're going to want to build an online brand and with online branding, it's important because people like to hire people that they know they like people who are familiar and if they can get a sense of who you are, they can tell if you're going to be a culture fit. Most people get fired because they can't get along with other people. There are lots of different ways that you can build an online brand. There are different platforms and the platforms that are best for career building, I would say are Twitter and LinkedIn. However, there is YouTube, there is Instagram, um, there is TikTok and all of that fun stuff. 
those are Instagram is geared more to like photography and things of that sort. Um, Twitter is good because it you get keep you'll get updated with news and you can chat with hiring managers. LinkedIn is also probably the best one you can go to because recruiters are on there actively trying to find people to fill positions. And if you have a following and you talk to people and you reach out to people and they can like tell that you're putting in a lot of work and you do posts and you're really just trying to actively get a job, it's a really good way to get noticed. I would choose one platform, master it, and then move on to another one because it can be extremely overwhelming. So Twitter, LinkedIn are the best chances that you have. And the best way to figure out how to do those platforms is go to someone with a large following and then see what they're doing and don't plagiarize, all right? Do not plagiarize. <laughs> what they are saying because that is a good way to make enemies. No one likes to be plagiarized, but put your own spin on it as someone new to the field. That can be leverage, is using your beginner self for leverage. After that, you're gonna want to go to apply for jobs. And before any job, there is a candidate pipeline and that includes a resume or LinkedIn. Really focus on that LinkedIn and resume. I do have a free resume template below if you want to check that out. And then you're gonna to want to go apply to jobs. And what I found is the best way to get a job is go to LinkedIn, find jobs that don't have a lot of applicants. And if you're new to the field, it's good to apply to jobs that don't have a lot of applicants because they're not as popular. Meaning you have a higher chance of landing a job in cybersecurity sooner. They not, may not be the most glamorous cybersecurity jobs. So there is consulting or in-house types of cybersecurity jobs. You're probably gonna get more experience in consulting type jobs than you are in-house jobs because consulting usually does various customers and clients where in-house usually just does one thing. And I have seen people just stay in one thing for five to 10 years, and then they realize that their skills have depreciated and they can't find another job because they only did one thing for the last five years and technology is rapidly changing. And I know that you're new to the field, but check out the company and what they provide. You don't want to choose a company that treats their employees horribly and you have to leave after two months. There is a little bit of due diligence, just don't be taken advantage of. Make sure to choose that. And also there are many different industries when you're applying to jobs. You're gonna to want to be aware of what industry you are applying for. So there are the healthcare industry, banking, insurance, manufacturing, the Department of Defense, state government, local government, federal government type jobs. There's tons of different niches and each one is going to require a different lingo, especially when you're interviewing, which leads me to my seventh step is you're going to want to interview for jobs. And for this, I wish I could find a really good cybersecurity interview prep like service, like they have like algoexpert.io. Um, however, I'm not able to find any cybersecurity interview prep. This would be a really good business idea for anyone watching this, create a cybersecurity interview prep business. You're gonna want to prepare for these interviews and that means do not lie on your resume and be able to talk about anything on your resume. It's also gonna be technical. And the thing with technical interviews is they can be extremely broad and it's just like a lot of miscellaneous questions, you know, you're like, man, this is like that one detail that I don't remember. So you're gonna want to create projects and then hopefully they will ask you questions about your projects. And that is why it's really important to have a home lab, documentation and all of that. If you have no experience, it makes it even more important. Once you have that, the next is getting your offers and that leads into negotiation and that is a whole different topic. Some common questions I get in cybersecurity is do cybersecurity degrees matter? And the answer is not really, but it could help if you're entry level. If you don't have one, I would just focus on building your skills in home labs and documentation. Because cybersecurity degrees are so expensive, I personally went to WGU to get my master's in cybersecurity online. You can check that out here. Really good school to go to if you're interested in getting a job in tech. The next question that I often get, do you need to know programming for cybersecurity? The answer is most jobs you don't, but there may be a few that you do. It depends on what you want to do. 
Programming does make you more valuable. However, you're gonna be so busy learning step one and step two, the basics of IT and cybersecurity that you may just get overwhelmed. <laughs> uh, I have like eight years of experience in IT and cybersecurity. Now, and I'm now just learning Python. I have a course coming up next month um, where I'll be learning Python and maybe I'll document my journey here. Another really common question is, do you need a security clearance? The answer is, it depends. Only for the Department of Defense and then also some Department of State jobs, you will need a clearance. Most jobs overseas, uh, you're gonna need some type of clearance because they're mostly Department of Defense. For healthcare, banking, insurance, manufacturing, all of those types, you're not gonna need a security clearance as those are usually private sector jobs. And if they do, then they will usually pay for it if you have the correct skills. Yeah, and so if you have any questions on how to get a job in cybersecurity, make sure to check out the link below and please check out my playlist and like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.